So what if I told you guys that by just skipping going to the movies five times, you could have your own home theater projector and your own little setup that you could watch and enjoy from the comforts of your own home. Seriously, by just giving up five trips to the movies, you can pay this thing off. And that's not even counting popcorn. So guys, this is the Arison HD F20B. And no joke, you can literally pay this thing off in five trips to the movies, maybe less if you indulge at the concession stand. So this projector right now is $130 on Amazon. Amazon, but there's a $15 coupon at the moment. Obviously that can always change, but for the price of that, Right now, I literally could go get two movie tickets because you never go alone. Usually you're with somebody, a significant other friend, but two tickets right now are 23 bucks. Literally in five trips, if you don't go and save up that money instead and put it towards this, you could have this thing paid off. Like I said, if you're buying stuff at the concession stand and you're someone that buys candy, popcorn, drinks, that kind of stuff, you can pay this off even quicker. A projector screen, you can get online for about 25 bucks. And really, you can use your own media and things like that to hook up to this. And wow, you can get your own projector and your own setup, getting a 100 inch, 120 inch screen for a very affordable price. So I think most people really aren't aware of it, that it's that easy to get their own projector home setup today. I think when people think of projectors, they still think of the high price thousand dollars projectors and they don't really think that it's affordable, but budget tech in these projector spaces have really progressed in the past few years. This projector is 720p natively, which means that you're getting true HD quality and you can literally have a 100 or 120 inch screen on your wall, no problem. So this is a sponsor video and they did send out this product for me to review. I've reviewed a bunch of other projectors, especially in the budget space on this channel. So you can definitely compare it to those. So the first thing you might notice is this is pretty compact for a 720p native projector. Projector. This really isn't that big. There's definitely other bigger projectors, especially when you get into some of the 1080p ones. The Vanco V600, which is a 1080p one, probably like double the weight of this and it's a lot more bulky. So this is very nice and compact. So if you are going to travel with this and take this with you or, you know, bring it to a friend's house or something like that to watch a movie, game, something like that, then this is very portable and will allow you to do so. And you're gonna have all your connections here on the back. You can see your IR sensor. You've got one HDMI spot, two USB ports, then you've got a headphone jack, AV port right there, and then for VGA right here. You also have your spot for your power cable right there, which is also included, and that is gonna power the device. Your IR sensor is right up here and that is gonna allow you to control it with the remote that will also be included. Taking a look on the bottom, it's cool because this does actually have a tripod thread right here. So this is your typical quarter inch standard tripod thread. So you could throw this up on a tripod that way if you would wish. Also on the front part of the bottom right here, you have this little leveler. So it's essentially a little screw and this will allow you to tilt your picture up and down a little bit if you need to. And you can kind of correct your angle with that if you need to. From there, you can easily use the keystone feature to level your screen as needed. On the top side here, you'll find all of your controls running along the right side of the projector. You've got your power button, return button, your source button, okay, left and right, which will also help do the volume and other controls. And then you've got your menu button right there with the three bars. Now, one of the greatest things about this projector is definitely the controls for the lens. So on a lot of these projectors and a lot of this price range, you're gonna see that it's very hard to kind of dial in your picture. Uh, it's because there's usually a flimsy kind of toggle wheel on top. This has a separate design where you've got these little rotating lenses here and these controls, and there's a lot more feedback that you get as you're doing this. There's definitely more resistance than in a lot of the other ones, so you can really dial in without going too far or too quickly. So I really like that feature on this projector. So on the front is your focus, and then this back one, this is gonna do your keystone projection. So that is gonna be what helps tilt your picture on your wall if you need to crack the vertical tilt. Now this is an example on this GearGo projector, for example. Tilting this lens, you can see kinda of how quick I can go back and forth on here. Definitely have a lot more free scrolling of the actual lens. Now if you look at this Arison projector, it's a lot harder to move this back and forth. There's a lot more kind of tactile feel. This is a lot smoother to operate. So this gives you much more control at dialing in your picture. 
So the thing that I like best about the 720p projector category is going from the 480p, the brightness is a lot better and your text really stands out. I think the first thing that you notice is text. When you're going from that 480p, the text is very grainy. It kind of runs together. It's not very sharp at all. When you go to the 720p versions like this one, this HD F20B is going to have a lot better, more crisp text. So when you're looking at like your Netflix menu and things like that, it's going to look better. If you zoom in real close, you're going to notice a little bit of pixelation, but you're not going to be watching real close. You're going to be watching from probably 10 feet away, 15 feet away. So when you're looking at that, it actually looks pretty darn good. For me personally, I don't know if you guys will agree, I have like an inverse relationship of the size of the projected image and the picture quality. For me, I find that I like having a 120 inch diagonal picture and have like 720p rather than have, you know, a HD 1080p 4K, you know, 22 inch TV or monitor or something like that. Because when you're talking prices, um, this is still probably cheaper than, you know, a 4K TV that's going to be in your 20 inch, 30 inch range. So I would much rather have a 120 inch picture and have 720p and almost have a, you know, movie theater feel in my living room rather than pay out the nose for a 4K or 1080p TV that is going to be much smaller and more limiting. So you're going to see some video quality and some pictures right now. So the pictures, basically this is what it looks like farther away. This is about 12 to 15 feet. This is with the projector about like nine and a half feet from the wall. So that's the thing to think about too. The further back you move this from the wall, that's going to give you a bigger picture. If you bring it closer in, it's going to shorten and shrink your picture size. So this is the only way that you can control the size of the screen. So that might be a considering factor depending on how much space you've got. I always get the question, what screen size do you get at what certain distance away from the wall? So to give you an example, for me, this picture that you're seeing right now fills up my 100 inch diagonal projector screen on the wall and it's about nine or nine and a half feet away from the wall. So you can kind of guesstimate based off of there and how much space you have available, how big of a picture you can get. But this picture quality here, this is zoomed in. So this is with me taking a picture about one to two feet away from the actual projector screen. So you're never going to be looking that close, but this is just to show you kind of the true pixelation that you're gonna get at a 720p variety. Zooming back out, you can kind of see then what this is gonna look like overall. I also took a couple pictures to show you basically kind of the darkness levels and the blackness that you're gonna get. You know, it's not gonna be the deepest blacks. So you're not gonna be able to compare it to OLED or something like that, but it gets pretty dark. If you're watching it in a dark room, you're gonna have good saturation and things like that. Some of these pictures I took here, for example, are more during the daytime. During the daytime is definitely gonna be where you're gonna lose a little bit of saturation in your images and things like that. If you have a well screened out room and you've got kind of blackout blinds and things like that, or if you're gonna be just using this in a basement that doesn't have any windows anyway, it'll look pretty darn good. So that's something to consider as well. If you can control your lighting, turning off lights, um, you know, closing off windows, things like that. This thing definitely shines at night. Um, during the daytime, depending on how bright it is and how much ambient light you have going into a room that might start to wash out your picture just a little bit. You will have, however, as well, when this is in standby mode, this will have a little blue LED light that will kind of light up. So that is going to be on if you have it plugged in, even when the power is off. When the power is actually on and it's going, that will go away. But that's another thing. Basically, this is gonna light up a little bit inside the room when it's basically in standby mode. This is 500 ANSI, 3600 lumens. So that is the brightness of this projector. And like I said, it's gonna handle nighttime very well. Daylight, depending on how much daylight you have and how much you can control your light in the room, that's where you might notice a little bit of less saturation in your picture. Thanks Harrison for sending this out. Like I said, they sponsored this video. Uh, I will have a link down here below in the description, so definitely go check it out. Like I said, very, very affordable. A few less trips to the movies and you could pay this thing off completely. 
Hit that link up down there below. Check that out. That's an affiliate link. It helps this channel out. Also have a whole other budget projector playlist of budget projector options that I reviewed. So make sure to check that out if you're interested as well. Let me know if you saw Spider-Man Far From Home yet and let me know what you thought of it. I kind of liked Homecoming a little bit better. But make sure to subscribe guys. Like this video if it was helpful. And you take care until the next one.